Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Trish Delish. If you've traveled around the world or like all different kinds of cuisine, you know that every culture has their own kind of sausage. In the Philippines, it's the longanisa. It is a very sweet and very garlic filled sausage and that's what we're gonna cook today. Join me in the kitchen and we'll get started. To get started to making our sausage, we're going to just combine our pork with garlic, sugar, black pepper, salt, and soy sauce. You wanna make sure that your sausage is very well mixed. After you've mixed your sausage, you can pop a little bit into a small pan and cook to taste for seasonings. If you need to adjust, uh, go ahead and do that before you start preparing the rest of the sausage. Traditionally, the longanisa is stuffed into a natural pork casing. If you don't want to do that and you want to have skinless longanisa, there's two ways you can do it. The first is you can use either parchment paper or wax paper to roll it um, into a log, or you can make them into uh, hamburger patties. All right, so you're gonna take a strip of parchment paper and you're gonna fill it with a little sausage right in the center. You're gonna fold down the top of the parchment paper to seal it. And then use a flat edge. Uh, this is my pastry board scraper. And you're going to just slightly slide that parchment up to make it tight. Some of my sausage came out the end, so I will just tuck it in there. Okay. And this is good if you want to freeze it. Um, you can make little logs like this and put them in a zip top bag. I've done one before. So again, we'll just line these up and you can freeze them individually wrapped like that. For this method of a longanisa, I'll actually make it into a hamburger patty. So I have two films of burger liners. I'm gonna put a large meatball size or hamburger size amount of sausage onto the center. I'm going to place the second one and slightly press down. If you kind of want it a little rounder, you can just use a small dish to press down. And there you have it, a nice burger patty. You'll see that it is kind of large because when it cooks up, your meat will shrink. If you want a little bit more of a perfect edge, you can just recover it and kind of shape a little bit with your fingers just so it's a prettier, cleaner edge. And there you go. If neither of those two ways will work for you, you can roll it uh, by hand into a sausage. So just take some in your clean hand and then you can shape it into a thin log. Now the thicker your sausage is, the longer it will take to cook. So just make sure whichever size you're doing that they are all roughly the same size, thickness, and length. All right, so I've made a few links and I'm going to go ahead and fry them up. I've put a little bit of water in the bottom of my pan. If you started from frozen sausages, you'll actually start with a, a little bit more, about a quarter cup. Uh, this here is only about two tablespoons. While the sausage is frying, I will prepare a quick tomato and onion side salad to accompany the dish. My produce is already washed and dried, and I'll just finely dice the tomato and onion. When you dice your tomato, don't forget to remove the seeds. Season with salt and pepper, or if you like, use habanero salt. All right, the sausages are fully cooked and starting to brown. You can let the second side brown as well. That's all of the sweet sugar caramelizing 
um, on the bottom of the pan there. All right, both sides of the sausages are now browned and caramelized. And we don't want these nice pan drippings to go to waste. So I have some fresh rice. You can actually use old rice if you just warm it up, but I have some fresh rice here. And we're gonna make a quick fried rice. Try to get all of those goodies into that rice. I just wanna show you real quickly the difference between the sausages. These are the ones that we formed with the parchment paper. Uh, these are our hamburger patties. I'm ready to try our breakfast platter of long si log. So that's longanisa and eggs. Mm. Oh, look at that. Runny egg. With my rice and my sausage. Oopsies. And, oh, that's a big spoon. A little bit of my spicy vinegar. Bon appetit, everyone. Enjoy. If you like this video and this recipe, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe and share this video with all your family and friends. Thanks for watching and see you next time.